holidays are upon us. We're all about to get busy with Christmas shopping, family gatherings. It's time for all of us to leave work behind for a while and focus on what matters most, and that includes my writers. They write hundreds, hundreds of jokes every day just to get to the 10 or 12 we use in the monologue. And honestly, a lot of those jokes that they write just aren't good. <laughs> Sometimes I think they just throw in a few stinkers every day just to fill the page and meet the assignment. But just because the holidays are here doesn't mean we can tolerate laziness, which means it's time for another surprise inspection. <laughs> All right, so here's how this works. I'm gonna read some actual jokes that were really submitted by my writers. They like turned them in with their names on it. <laughs> they are unusable for the show. Some are dumb, some are offensive, some are confusing. Most importantly, the writers don't know we're doing this and because a lot of them don't watch the show, they'll never know. <laughs> so let's get started. A deer recently entered a New York nursing home. Oh, so Nana wasn't alone on her birthday. So that's Mike Scollins, one of our writers, saw a story about a deer entering a nursing home, and his take was that the funny thing would be that would be good news for anyone who uh, forgot to visit their Nana on her birthday. And what he thought would happen is people like you would laugh. <laughs> Yesterday was National Pay Back Your Parents Day. Way ahead of you, said Eric and Lyle. <laughs> Kind of makes you miss the Nana one, right? <laughs> a section of highway in Kentucky was closed recently after a load of chicken parts, including feet, liver, intestines, and gizzards spilled across the road. Said onlookers, why? Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> yeah, but... But would it have worked if it wasn't right after a Menendez Brothers joke? <laughs> Diplomats from nearly 200 nations agreed yesterday to establish a fund to help developing countries deal with climate change disasters, said Tuvalu. So um, Tuvalu, I think is how you say it. That is an island nation. So that was what Brian, uh, that's Brian. <laughs> Brian thought you would see a thumbs up and you would hear Tuvalu, a, a country that we all talk about. <laughs> and you would immediately, your head would go, oh, it's an island nation, so that's. <laughs> Passed up things like the Faroe Islands, which has island in it, which would have helped the joke. <laughs> it's like I'm doubling down on Tuvalu. <laughs> President Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden left the White House today to spend Thanksgiving in Nantucket. Their holiday weekend is so long you can suck it. <laughs> it's a good Thanksgiving joke. <laughs> an Illinois couple recently got married in the aisle of an Aldi grocery store, said their lawyer, prenup on aisle six. <laughs> because prenup uh, rhymes with cleanup. That's what Brian was counting on. <laughs> we should book him a ticket to one of those islands. <laughs> oh, guess what? There's another uh, joke that happened in Aldi. A brand of fro a brand oh boy, a brand of frozen falafel sold at the grocery store chain Aldi was recently recalled after an E. coli outbreak. Luckily, it only affected a tahini number of people. That's Matt wrote that joke, and, uh... Because he was like... <laughs> that was so quiet, I thought, uh, like, four pigeons were flying away. <laughs> that was such a weird central... It was like a weird group of five people were like, no! <laughs> no, I do think tahini sounds enough like tiny. A police department in Lake County, Ohio, received complaints from residents this week after they dressed up their unit's horses in white sheets that look similar to the Ku Klux Klan. Even worse, the horses are members of the Oat Keepers. Oh. 
Yeah, that one, I think they've never gone that bad. <laughs> Guys, I have terrible news. Your beloved Brian wrote that joke. <laughs> I guess that's true. What did we? Oh, Oath Keepers, like Oath Keepers. Like, nobody thinks to be Oath Keepers and is like, ha <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I don't even know. I've read this one so many times today. This maybe is the densest, was, is it I mean, arguably one of the densest jokes we've ever had. It requires a, a really intensely granular knowledge of the television show Frasier. <laughs> How many of you feel like you're still on board with it? So we're going in, we've already lost 80%. <laughs> Just so if you're watching at home, like scale your expectations. 80% of the audience is out. <laughs> New York Yankees star Aaron Judge hit his 61st home run of the season last night and tied the American League record set by Roger Maris in 1961. Sorry, Aaron. But the only person who can truly wipe Maris from history is a bewitching physical therapist named Daphne Moon. <laughs> so uh, Niles on Frasier, his uh, ex-wife's name was Maris, but he loved Daphne Moon to the point that she wiped Maris from history. Yeah. Would have been so much. I, I, I don't know why anybody joined that first person who's clapping. <laughs> Whoever started clapping, I want you to clap again. Nobody joined. <laughs> Did you hear that, Matt? <laughs> Yesterday was National Child's Day. Well, maybe just one, said R. Kelly. Happy Thanksgiving! This has been Surprise Inspection!